Okay, in this video I want to show you how to remove corrosion water damage on your logic board of your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air or any other MacBook uh, laptops you may have. Um, and, you know, this could happen multiple ways. You can, you know, you might have been near a pool side or uh, suspected that it might have water damage. Someone might have drop, dropped coffee or water near your MacBook. Um, and this, this method will work whether it's turning on or not uh, turn it on. Of course, if it's turning on, it's a better scenario for you. But uh, again, this can work for both ways. Um, this particular model is a MacBook Pro 2012 i5 processor. And the reason that I found out that there was corrosion on this one is um, I was upgrading the RAM from four gig to, to six gig. So I was replacing one of the two gig chips with a four gig chip. and. Uh, when I opened it up, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> there's like a quarter size piece of green algae on the motherboard, um, which I was pretty alarmed by. Uh, of course, this MacBook's got 10 uh, total screws. You know, Airs might have eight. Um, the only thing that you're going to need to do this procedure is, um, well, the simple procedure, you're going to need, of course, your Phillips head screwdriver to get to all the screws out. You're going to need a cleaning material. I got 70% isopril. You can get this at Walmart for a buck, rubbing alcohol. Um, you know, if you want to go a step further, uh, a better substance would be denatured alcohol. And you can get that at Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace Hardware. Um, that would even actually be better. Um, you're going to need like a, an old toothbrush to uh, scrub with. You're going to need a microfiber cloth. You can get these at Walmart or any store for practically nothing uh, and that's so you don't you know have lint like if you use a washcloth or a paper towel you're going to get lint on your motherboard and you don't want that um, little container to, to pour your um, alcohol in or your or your denatured alcohol a little bit in there okay so I went ahead and took the screws out and when I first opened it up I went ahead and, and took. I already went ahead and took some of the um, some of the algae off. As you can see here, you can see like this clouded thing. It's about the size of a quarter. And it actually got on the bottom of my um, of my base as well. I already cleaned that off. So about a size of a quarter. So, of course, the first thing you want to want to do is unplug the battery. You're not wanting to get any power whatsoever. Okay. Now, this is the simple procedure if you just want to clean the uh, the back side of the logic board. You could have uh, damage or corrosion on the back side, but this looks like here it was isolated just to this particular area. And um, so, I want to go ahead and and um, clean it. Um, now here's the thing. Some people say, well, should I go ahead and just get it repaired? Should I take it to the, um, should I go ahead and take it to the MacBook store and let them re repair it? Well, first of all, the only thing they're going to really do is replace your logic board. And that's going to almost as cost you as much as another MacBook. Um, if you got a warranty on it, um, the majority of the warranties it's not going to cover water damage and they'll of course be able to simply tell by the indicators that it's got water damage so it's not going to be covered anyway so if it's what you're going to do is not going to do any further harm to it so if you do it correctly you're not going to do any further harm to your logic board if it is um, salvageable but if this method doesn't work most likely it's not salvageable um, and be, you'd be better just to get another MacBook now, you, your parts are still good if your logic board's bad. You still have your screen, your battery, your DVD player, your hard drive, your memory. Um, so, you know, you can't go wrong there. So, like I said, if you... This particular allergy is... is uh, corrosion is, is... I call it allergy. It's corrosion is located um, right here to this particular part of the motherboard. So, I know it's not... Most likely, it's not on the, on the back. So... What you're going to do is you're going to have your microfiber ready, and you're going to actually do the scrubbing with this. You want to generously wet your um, 
toothbrush with the alcohol. But you don't want any dripping off. And you want to go into a circular motion at the corroded area. You want to scrub very lightly enough to where it's definitely getting in everywhere. But at the same time, you don't want to do it too firmly to actually do damage to your components. All right, and then go ahead and lightly dab it. And then you want to wet it again at the same area. You want to have enough alcohol to where it's never going just plain brush to your logic board without some alcohol on it. And oh, by the way, you need a hair dryer as well. That's the fourth item that you need. You can actually use a hair dryer, or you can actually use a vacuum, as long as it's got a, you know, it's got a bristle end to it. Okay. So, I'll go ahead and get my hair dryer here. You won't want to do it on the cool side of on on it on your hair dryer. Do it on the cool side, and you want to give yourself a good foot away from it on about a medium speed. Okay. So, that's pretty much how you do the simple one. Now, if you want to, if it's not turning on at all, and you know that there's corrosion on the back, it's got major water spill. What you want to do is you want to remove all, your, you know, of course your memory, and um, you're going to take out the screws. And uh, I'll go ahead and leave instructions on how to do that. If you want to take the whole logic board out and clean it front and back, um, it is a lot more time consuming, and um, is a little bit more difficult but it's done every day of course and um, you're going to want to remove the fan and uh, the heat sink and when you do that you're going to need some um, you're going to need some um, uh, uh, pretty much some arctic silver paste to reapply on your um, processor I know that sounds a lot more complicated but I want to send a video show you send you a link to a video that's a lot more self-explanatory about how to do it um, and hopefully that'll fix your problem if you you know if it's of right now you can't get the MacBook to to turn on so thank you for watching and I hope I helped